I am back, as I said I would be. Packing is going fine. Oh. I'm almost done. Ish. I'm almost done ish. All right, Maddie. Maddie from Plainville, Connecticut. You know what? I'm gonna put this in here. <sighs> Amanda from Iowa. Lucas would be so proud. There's not much else to like leak for the season. It's almost done. Like, I mean, it's still gonna be a second, like. Mm, I'm trying to think. Just off the top of my head, I think there's maybe like six more things for season two. All right, Amanda. I think there's only like six, yeah. Um, I could be wrong, don't quote me. Or do you quote me, but just be like, he's also not reliable, so. Um, let me think. Yeah, I think there's maybe six, maybe seven, but it's it's definitely like less than 10 left. Um, let's see. Who we got? Elizabeth from, from Corona. Not a good city name after the last year, last two years, last three years. It's so depressing. Next season is fucking nuts. Like, there's already a couple things that we're working on. Like, and the samples are just my favorite. And it's been so hard not to, like, show them in the background of anything. Like, because they're in my room. I had to buy... Um, I had to get more space for stuff. Um, yeah, go fold the dishes, that's important. Um, Elizabeth. Well, that's the, yeah, yeah, next season's definitely getting worked on because, like I said, like, this isn't the kind of thing that I can just make up and then have in two weeks. You know what I mean? That's like very, like, merch world for shit. And, Everything with high depth is planned, especially like the more custom things, like like the more like involved stuff, that's legit like six months out. Because, you know, like when they're more complicated, it's like the sampling process takes longer. Like it's just a more complicated thing getting them uh, getting them right. Hang on, let me find more paper. You guys sit tight. I'll be back. And we are now officially out of the white wrapping paper. So next week we'll have the new one. And that's what's up.
Um, so I apologize to the last, like, four people, five people. I'll make it up to you somehow. This is for Mary. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the barcode T material was different for this one because there weren't any... So, the white and black was a little bit thicker, and I do prefer that. Um, but with the kind of pastel vibe that we were going for, um, it was like, there just wasn't anything that thick. And so, yeah, but if we did any other variations of that again, I would definitely go back to the thicker just because personally I like it more. Like they're both good in different ways, but uh, it was just to be able to get those colors. That was the only option. I mean, there, there was like, there was a couple options, but that was the best one. But um, being like a little bit thinner, it made it more difficult to get like the amount of puff print that I wanted on it. Because if it had like the same level or like girth, it uh it would have gotten really fucked up like if you like washed it one time it would most likely start folding in on itself and i was just like okay well the best move to have like the pastel palette version would be to one like use the shirts that we used but also um but also to make the puff itself a little bit thinner so yeah if we did another variation i would probably go back to the thick and just uh, use what we like could get or like use what's available for um, like a heavier a heavier blank you know what's can't say girth and then go like here I'll try different reactions girth 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 is that pretty cool Next is Ariana. Hmm. We had a Kylie and Ariana. Who's next? Um, let's see. Hey. Yo, how's hey, it going, guys? dude? I'm on live right now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Said Gwarth. All right. Again, the hardest part is not showing your address. No, Miles, though, has been blowing me up all fucking day about band shit. <sighs> so, whenever I get off here, I'll finally text him back. I'm excited for the eventual compilation video of, like, like package destruction. So I work really hard on that, on creative ways to attack your packages. All right, Lane or Laney in New York? I don't know about a P.O. Box video, I think. I mean, I've been considering it, I do one more, but I just saw someone say something about like, uh, Austin uh, YouTuber era, and I was just like, I was like, and on that note, I got a dip. Um, yeah. 
All right, Laney. I don't have the new ring on right now because, so I would have to get it, like something figured out with it on the, uh, on the sides because it kept stabbing me. I was being stabbed by emeralds and gold like a king. But really though, I did keep stabbing myself and it hurt so much. I was, eventually I was just like, oh my God, fuck, it's been like six times a day. Let's see. Yeah, now it's the TikTok era. It's all defined by social media and not art or fashion. Um, all right, Christian. Christian in Los Angeles. I could deliver this to you personally. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw Ben got one. And I showed him mine. The purple one was actually the first one that I ever had in at the end of 2018. Yeah. Actually, I got it. At, or like the day we did, Travis and I did the uh, podcast tour. We need to do another little podcast tour, just like a four date thing. That'd be fun. Christian. podcast tour come to Baltimore we totally would I love Baltimore when we did Silver Springs last time I was so confused I was like why the fuck aren't we just going to Baltimore it like goes so hard every time that was night out on earth dude I want to make those Flynn stickers that picture destroyed me um Riley here we go your last name is so fun, but I feel like I probably shouldn't say it. Um, stickers confirmed. Yeah. The Silver Springs was really good. It's just, like, I don't know what it is. Baltimore just goes so fucking hard. And I know they're, like, 30 minutes apart, but there is a difference. Like, a big difference. done. Almost. White gold. Daniela. London does go so fucking hard. Oh, man. Yeah, it's going to be fun to go back in February, but it's going to be even more fun when we eventually, eventually go back and headline there again, because when you headline, you just have so much more freedom with production and stuff. Either way, like, no matter what, gonna make it go hard as hell. But, you know, there's just, when you when you headline it, just everybody there already knows everything, and you're not like, I don't know. I did tell our new booking people, I was just like, hey, this is like, I don't know. six months ago, maybe, or five months ago, four months ago, I don't know, that, uh, I was like, man, we haven't opened for anybody in so long, like, it's been fucking forever, and I want to, I want to do that more before the next album, and they're like, cool, we'll work on it, and then, you know, Mikey texted me about my chem stuff, and I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it, let's go, I mean, way more, like, like mind bending than that. Uh, I just, uh, still in kind of sleepy mode, but. Which paper is this? Hang on. I don't want to fuck this up. Who are you, Alexia? Okay. Um, and then, uh, Black Red texted me at the end of, literally on like the second to last date 
of our UK Europe headliner that we just the see in the future tour and um, and he asked me and then booking was like hey do you want to do you me at six in the UK because like yeah we do like Brixton you know like there we go Brixton's like 5,000 but they're so like they're just crazy over there like so that's gonna be in a 10,000 cap room which is again just fucking mind-boggling but it should be fun um but we'll be back to doing the headliner stuff at some point Y'all are booked and busy. It's true. So I eventually, eventually going to do it less. Eventually. Wait, I almost was showing a sticker. Kaler. You know, people have wanted, or people wanted the album to be out by like October or November, and I was just like, uh uh. Like, it's, it's pretty close, but just with the amount of stuff going on, I just, it's, I just want it to be perfect, and at the same time, I'm just not in a fucking hurry. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, watching, watching Greatest Hits be underrated. You know, it was like... You know, it was a feeling. And so, with this one, I just want to be very careful with it. You know what I mean? Because I care about all the songs a lot. And... And... I don't know, they all just... They need their... their they all need their time in the light and proper attention. And so, because of these reasons, I am just not in a hurry to put them out. Wait, ugh, there's a hair in my mouth. Okay. Owen from Orlando. You are the last one I got. I fucking love Orlando. Like, and everybody's always like, what? Like, whenever we're talking about, like, what the best tour dates are, Orlando's consistently, like, top four for me. Like, pretty much every tour we've ever done. There's just something about it. Cool. All right, Owen. It's been real. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put one sticker. Dude, I even love the back. Like, it's nice. Oh, 